Good morning, guys. So, today I am sticking with the Christmas theme of the candy cane that you guys saw, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do a snowflake and possibly some other winter friends and people. So, join me. I'm sorry if my beard's a little scraggly. We're going on a hunting trip soon, so it's getting, uh, I'm using it as a scarf, as beards were once intended. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, what I like to do is I start here, new template. Um, and it normally has a little pop-up, so I think I froze it. There we go. And 10 inch by 10 inch, because I like working in that square space, so I don't become biased and try and make it too wide or too tall. Um, but teach your own, pick your flavor. And then, I uh, don't think I come up with everything out of my head. I mean, candy canes and, you know, gumdrop buttons and things. That's pretty straightforward. But I do go online, like I showed last time, and pick a few things. So this one... We're going to do a snowflake, and I don't know if you guys remember your high school geometry class, uh, but I do a little bit, and to help you guys, if you're doing a spoke or something that needs to be rotated around the center and you can't get it exactly right, remember that if you take all the angles that are added inside a center, so like the inside of a snowflake, they're going to add up to 360 degrees. So if you can find a number that goes into that evenly, like 45 plus 45 is 90, plus 45 plus 45 is 180, and then, you know, 360, uh, you'll be able to get even spacing. So if you're doing spokes in a wheel, you could do 36 of them, uh, right? 36? No, the degree, 36 of them at 10 degrees, and you'll have 36 spokes evenly spaced. But if you do 35, they'll be wonky. Um, and, I'll, and I'll explain that in a second, or I'll, at least I'll show you what I kind of mean when I uh, when I do it myself here. So, also we need to pick a color, so I'm going to go with this, I like this blue for a winter color. And then you can go over to Color Guide, and they'll show you a bunch of colors that work with it. So we're going to look for one that kind of looks like Christmas, or at least a wintery theme. Um, let's just go with the ombre, the monochromatic, and then we'll use this as our base for at least our snowflake and any other kind of winter icicles that we're trying to make and then I'll uh, at some point I'll go get a crisp proper Christmas theme like we did in the last one so now I've got my line I've got my shades of blue I'm probably gonna switch to this shade we're gonna wanna make it a stroke because there's no depth to this it's just a line um, and I already picked my color so I'm just gonna swap from the, whatever the fill color is I'm gonna swap that to here uh, and this is what your line color is going to be, and this is your fill. So to give you an example of what that means, again, um, the fill's here, and then you can't see it because it's not thick enough, so I'll show you real quick. But that's the line. So I made the blue part's the line I made. The black part is the fill. We don't want any fill. We don't like him. comes to parties, you know, it's not really bringing stuff with him. All right, and then we're going to take, ah, and we want to remove this one, so we have a straight line. Um, and that's not too bad looking, you know, of a line. And the next thing we're going to want to do, so you have two options. You can either design in the middle of the line, or you can design at the bottom, and when you rotate it, whatever is, you know, you can either do the middle, rotate around the middle, and then have, so design both ends of your snowflake, and then we're going to rotate it around, or design one arm of it, and rotate it around. So I think we're going to do one arm of it and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to make it a little smaller so when I rotate it it's not too bad and because of that I'll zoom in. So the next thing we want to do is add some B's. So I'll make, you know, I'm holding down shift so it gives me a perfect 45 degree angle. And I'm going to go ahead and click here and go ahead and hold shift again and I'm trying to match it up with the top of that so I know ah, I'll get the same thing twice um, I am just struggling aren't I? Come on buddy. Alright, so click on it this should, this means minus Where's, I don't know why it's not letting me add to it um, so give me a moment so if you're having the same problem I am See, this is a fun thing about Illustrator. There's like a hundred ways to skin a cat with Illustrator. And uh, so if I, if for some reason it keeps minusing it, and I know if I was smarter I'd know why, but I can literally just click it 
and hold down Alt, and it will duplicate what I, whatever I selected. I'm going to take it, I'm going to right click, I'm going to transform and reflect, and I'm going to preview it, which I don't know why that's never just always selected. And so I'm going to flip it over vertically. So that's going to let me go ahead, bring it in, and bam, it's the same on both sides. Uh, and to be extra, extra sure that it is, you can select both. And again, when you select more than one object, it's going to let you align them um, based on the center. So by doing this, it's going to put them on the same plane without separating them. So that looks pretty good. Uh, and then what we can do there is we'll, we can click both of them. And if you right click, you can group it. And now they're part of the same thing. We can even make it a little smaller. Oops. Well, let's dupe it because I like that one. So Alt and click and drag. Hold down shift, it's going to keep your proportions. And we'll make like a little snow guy. And he'll look like that. And I think that looks pretty good so far. Uh, we could even maybe put him inside, have him line up like that. I think that actually looks better. And then, what else? Let's bring one more down. And we'll bring it here, and then we'll start playing it with it from here. So we'll take this, and you're going to take this Rotate tool. Now you could right-click and rotate. Um, go to Transform, and you can do... I did not say Hello Cortana. Oh, I just said it. Um, but you can do Rotate from here. And what that's going to let you do is rotate around your center. There is a way you can click a button, and I can't remember if it's Alt or Shift, when you're in this view, and it's going to let you pick where you're rotating around, but that's why I just like using this tool. You just select everything, click the Rotate tool, and then you click where you want it to rotate around, so we're going to do that. Um, and then you can just rotate like so. Uh, and if you hold down the Shift, remember it's only going to give you 45, which all add up to 360. So we've done it once. So now what you're going to want to do, so when you do it, you're going to want to click it, hold down Shift and Alt. So you can do both of those commands. And that's going to leave you at a 45 and duplicate it. Now, because we've done it once, instead of doing it each time, if you hit Control D, it's going to repeat whatever you, the last thing you did was, which was 45 degrees around the middle and duplicate. So bam we just made a snowflake. Now if you don't want to go for such a harsh geometric look luckily you can highlight them all, hit stroke, and round the edges, ends, and make it a little thicker. Oop. So we're going to take it, stroke, and we want the end caps all to be round, and now you've got a little more softer look. Obviously the lines are a little thick here. Uh, you could go in separately and make them you know, more, but I like that. I think it's a little soft snowflake. Um, and another thing you could do is because this is, you know, a schneer flake, you can take this, which has the exact amount of sides that your snowflake does, line it so the centers are in, or in the same, and there's a way I can show you how to do that. You can even add that to give it a little, like, inner crystalline structure. And there you go, you've got a snowflake, which you can use as a building block of basically, a, make my full face there, um, you can use as like a building block for everything else. So take, make a few of these like, you know, you would do in class and cut out little snowflakes and uh, when you're making a backdrop or you need to add some snowflakes to some decor or maybe Mrs. Claus has a snowflake button or anything, you can go ahead and put that there. And then don't be scared to mess with your colors. So if you're doing uh, like a snowy scene or you have snowflake in a pattern, change the color to ombres of each other. Uh, I wouldn't really go red and green with snowflakes, but I mean, you do you. It's your world. Uh, that's a great thing about design is there's no wrong way to do it. There's just quicker ways to do things. Um, but there you go. Snowflake. Video done. Look at me.